Yeah, we built a family tree. Family to me, my niggas family to me. Look. One woman has died in a crash. This is new video from the scene. For me, this is one of the most heartbreaking things I ever had to go through. Not only that, losing two of my brothers, the heartache just wouldn't stop. Yo, when I see my heartache continue, he continued. But all in a matter of three years, I lost two of my brothers, lost my father, lost my mother. It seemed like it just wouldn't stop. My only outlet was, is releasing all that anger on that football field. Playing on that football field, I could just release so much anger, so much hurt for losing my parents, losing my brothers. Like, this was my only outlet. And I was okay at it. I was determined to be great at it. So one day, my uncle decided enough was enough. It was no more losing family members, so he pretty much shipped me out to live with my grandparents. So I pretty much packed up and moved from Florida to here. Yes, moved here. Florence, Kentucky. 24 minutes north of Cincinnati. Okay, about an hour, 15 minutes south of Lexington, Kentucky. Now, you're probably wondering what the hell is out here. Pretty much, I don't know. I don't care. I just didn't want to deal with no more heartache and pain. And pretty much my uncle, he saw something in me, something great. And I knew I could be great. I just had to put in the work. So I come up here to work, put my head down, go to college, eventually the NFL. And I know I can do it. This is pretty much a mindset. So, yo, welcome back to a brand new RTG series. Now that you just saw, we got Ohio State, Kentucky, and Tennessee as our first three choices. So hopefully we can... Earn a scholarship, bro, in this brand new RTG series. And I went ahead. I, it's technical difficulties trying to, you know, deal with the GTA cutscene. So I pretty much went back to the old school. And hopefully y'all enjoy that backstory. But when you're dealing with so much heartache and pain, it just you just want a fresh start. You feel me? And so that's that's what De'Aaron pretty much wanted. You know what I mean? So rather with him dealing with, you know, his own tragedy or something happened to him. He escaped it, you know, pretty much moving in with his grandparents and hopefully for a first start because he really trying to earn a, a Division One scholarship. That's his ultimate goal. Go to college, you know, hit the books in the NFL. Y'all know the story. So this kid has pretty much lost both of his brothers, his mother and his father within a three-year span. Yo, that is crazy. So... Whatever school gets this kid is going to get a beast. Now, pretty much a lot of schools going to be recruiting this guy to play running back. <laughs> As you see, he got the, he, yo, he got it. But we, we going to, I feel like pretty much we done done every position on offense. So it's time for some defensive RTG. So we pretty much going to be an edge rusher in at the next level. But for now, in high school, we're going to play both ways, bro. Edge rusher and a running back. So that first drive, we was, we were showing off, bro, but they took us out of the game, and they do that a lot on offense and defense, you feel me? So, especially on defense, being that I'm not a true defense end, in some plays they just sub you out of, so it, it is what it is. So, right now, we are leading three to nothing, and the most famous person that came out of Florence, Kentucky, I looked it up, is Sean Alexander, the retired Seattle Seahawks running back, bro. So I just wanted to think outside the box as far as where this guy, you know, from. Okay, he's from Florida, but you know, he moved up to Florence, Kentucky. If you anybody for that's from Kentucky, y'all let me know in the comments section. But you know, just wanted to do something different. You feel me? Right here we got our first touchdown of the season. Let's go. And right now we are leading 10 to nothing. Ain't that should have been intercepted. <coughs> His Underwood picks up 11 on that play, first and 10, and we get a little action going, man. <coughs> That's what we like to see. All right, second and nine, bro. This defense is going to step up. Let's go. What a big hit, baby. Let's go. These boys do not want to play today. They do not want to play today. But as far as what he's going to play in college, I don't know if you want to be a like a Von Miller stand up outside edge rusher or 
switchy position. I hate that fucking tackle, bro. Or be like a, a, a true defensive end. God damn, 71. That's what I'm talking about. Or be a, you know, a true defensive end. But I'm pretty much leaning towards that Von Miller kind of, you know, edge rushing. And every now and then drop back in the coverage. You feel me? And right here at Cameron, he's a power running back, bro. He don't have time for that juking. And, yo, if you in his way, I feel sorry for you. Like, for real. He's no juking and uh-uh. A full head of steam, bro, running north and south. He's gonna give it that dare here stiff arm. You feel me? But all that juking and stuff, and right, we could nearly had a sack, bro. Make the tackle. As we nearly had a sack, bro. And like I say, some plays they just sub you, I, they just sub you out, bro. I don't know why it does that. And a lot of times when they sub you out, you just like earn stats. You feel me? So. It's crazy how how it works. Birth ways in right here, bro. We just need a sack, bro. We need one. We trying to impress these scouts, bro. We trying to earn that division one scholarship, and that should have been picked, bro. I wonder why you playing defense. First and ten, bro. We are leading forty five to nothing for our first game of the season, and down goes Robinson. Third and seventeen, pretty much a final play of the game because we are leading by so much. And that's the way it ends, bro. And that's the way game number one ends. I'm probably gonna be probably do like five, six, seven high school episodes. Won't be do that many. But um, it's your boy CR8, bro. And hey, man, it feels good to be back with a brand new RTG. It feels good, bro. And right outside linebackers, bro, we a tough choice, but we're gonna have to go to Western Kentucky. For the right outside linebacker and for the running backs, a really tough choice, bro. A <laughs> really tough choice. But we're going to go with Old Dominion, bro. But that's it, man. This is your boy, Sarah. I'm gone.